in most cases I've actually noticed that when it comes to jewel alocasias, the ones that has been cultivated here are often tissue culture plants. And I believe that these are the collection that is currently available that has been sort of like introduced in this current market for this particular season of time. In this in this context I want to make mention is that you will not find the older version of this jewel alocasia sold and I believe it's sort of like more on the element of what is available for this particular batch. Hence this collection can be said as denote for this particular set where all this collection of tissue cultured plants, especially this jewel alocasia, is the only batch that is available for the current market. One of the challenges that need to be faced are the pests that actually attacks them, especially the spider mites, as these are a very strong magnet for alligators. And one of the ways to deter them is to use miticide and the element here of often keeping the leaves more on a humidity factor and often keeping them in a wet condition in such a way that to deter them from infection. But there is also a setback where these plants can easily rot away if a lot of water is been applied on them. I still find alocasias a popular and highly sought after plants though they are challenging and that challenges actually incur more higher interest among the collectors. This is a very basic introduction video. Do check out in the playlist concerning this particular plant care and detailed information concerning these alocasia plants. Hi, I'm James David and welcome to Garden Chronicles. Mm -hmm.